And is strong to the rim and still is able to muscle his way through contact. And Philadelphia calls time here. The 76ers trail by three. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Harden the pass to Embiid. And here's Maxi. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Another miss by Philadelphia. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Middleton inside the three-point line. Here's Giannis. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harden's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Embiid with a screen on Iverson. Five to shoot to the paint to stop the drought. Lopez with the block. Great timing on Lopez's part there to swat down that attempt. Outside Holiday. Back to Iverson. Teardrop shot. And Embiid with the block. Maxi looking it over. There's the feed to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. And it's Antetokounmpo penetrating. And Giannis throws it down. And Antetokounmpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a seven-foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but, man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. Embiid. Yes! And the foul. That's on Brook Lopez. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Bucks. Phenomenal work on the defensive end so far. That stands out the most. They've made it their mission to block shots and make things hard for the opposition. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor Boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injuries. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh, my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. Timeout called the Bucks. And it's Hunter Tacumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Harden looking it over. Pass to Maxi. For the lead. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. The 
second chance effort, and that's two points on the layup. Andre de has got six points in the quarter. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Harden against Holiday. Harden kicks it to Tucker. Harden the pass to Maxi. And Bede with a screen on Allen from deep Harden. The shot will not fall. The Bucks go the other way with it. Pass to Allen. Outside Holiday. And the three ball is good. And it's a five point Bucks lead. One of the more complete players in the league, Holiday with the nice jumper. The pass to Harris. It's tipped. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure. The 76ers shooting at a decent 44% clip here. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. Brooke Lopez is out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Iverson in at the one spot. Passes it to Connaughton. To the middle. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. I like seeing Middleton throw it down like that. Boy, he's a great athlete, and he finishes with a little style, too. And Harden with the stuff. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now and I like seeing that and for the 76ers organization the expectation is of course Clark a championship and that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid I mean he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Man, I like the fact that Middleton, because of his strength, is able to fight through contact and get shots to fall even when he's been hit. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Outside, Maxi. Back to Harden. Here's Harris. A rebound by the Bucks. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spots. Here's Maxi, And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Free throw good, Maxi. There aren't many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxi. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him, and to exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. Pass to Lopez. Harden against Iverson. He takes it in, and Iverson throws it down. Iverson can score with the best of them. I tell you what, a volume shooter. He does not lack confidence and lets it fly from anywhere and everywhere. Iverson against Harden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Allen Iverson. 
No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And the first one at the line is good. Well, certainly Clark, the 76ers, the past few seasons, have given their fans plenty to feel good about. Yeah, and you know, those Philly fans are really hard to please. They have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Um, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. Timeout called the Bucks. the latest now from our sideline reporter David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening. Guys? Thank you, David. Harden kicks to Harris. The 76ers again can't hit it. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Iverson against Harold. And the rejection by Harold. And Lopez gets it to go. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Here's Connaughton trying to get open as Lopez. And that one's good from Connaughton. And the Bucks lead by 11. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Middleton can't get it to go. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Drew Holiday has checked in for Pat Connaughton. Harden hits them both. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. Holiday against Harden. Harden draws the double. Poke loose. Iverson against Harden. Iverson, no luck. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Right side, Maxi. Perilous screen on Iverson. Maxi passes to Harden. Plays it up off the glass. Harden's got 12 points here in the second half. Guys, it's hard to shake Harden off his game. He's so strong and skilled. He keeps his balance right where he needs it. Middleton on the wing. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Middleton's got the lead up to 11 now for Milwaukee. Philadelphia has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Holiday against Harden. Harden draws the double, and there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That's his third foul of the game. Embiid, he's checked in for Montrez Harris. Here's Harden. Makes it off the glass. Harden's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And you know, this team expects Harden to dominate like this. It's amazing how easy he makes it look. Here's Iverson driving the lane, and the layup's good off the glass. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and 
He's really riding that wave right now. Harden outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And Holiday kicks to Portis. The three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And the Bucks lead by 14. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Harden, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Iverson dishes to Lopez. Off target from three-point range. The 76ers shooting the pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Harris passes to Harden. Maxey against Middleton. Back to Harden. And the jam by Harden. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GM. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Iverson outside. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. And the Bucks making a change here. Antetokounmpo's checked in. Free throw good. Iverson. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. The 76ers trail by 15. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Giannis with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley-oop through. And Anacumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Outside, Maxi. Back to Harden. From deep. It's rebounded by Allen Iverson. Iverson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Inside, Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. No questioning Iverson's skill for moving the ball. A guy this open is an easy dime for him. It's Harden with the drive. First free throw is good. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? Uh, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. George Niang comes in for P.J. Tucker. Matisse Feibel checked in for Tobias Harris. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. Boy, Iverson, so stubborn and competitive offensively, forcing that shot through even while taking the foul. And that one misses. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Here's Harden. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Middleton's got his sixth rebound on the night. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And it's Harden with the ball for the 76ers. 19-point game. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one is on holiday. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucs can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunities. Iverson, no good. Philadelphia has gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Harden with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. 
Nobody near Milton. The 76ers with another miss. Bucks leading by 17. Get there, get there. Now here is Holiday. Lopez a screen. Here's Iverson. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his ninth assist in the game now. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. Harden draws the double. It's so inbound to Takumbo. Outside Holiday. Pass to Giannis. He kicks to Middleton. On the wing, Iverson. He's guarded by Melton. Six on the shot clock. No good off the front iron. The 76ers trail by 19. Harden dishes to Harold. Harden against Holiday. The pass to Melton. And stolen by Iverson. Coming out here tonight and making a statement. Really good work all around for Milwaukee. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And asserting themselves up front here, guys. They'll be taking the front end of a four-game season series between these two. They, they've got to feel good about getting the upper hand tonight against the Sixers. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Giannis. I thought his active hands were a big help. I mean, he took some chances on defense, and his gambles paid off. He got a bunch of steals. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Ingles passes to Ibaka. From 10 feet out, Antetokounmpo, no good. So it's Philadelphia now. Harden with it. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, there's a reason Harden's at or near the leaders in free throws attempted every season. You know, he's really honed in on that ability to draw fouls. He's made it virtually an art form. And he makes both free throws. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the final quarter. There's the lob. And the combo throws down the alley-oop slam. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road. Very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Here is Harden. Here's Melton. Missed. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think... Uh... The whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready. Everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a great team or a good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.